Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of ours. And make sure you are following us on Twitter and on Instagram as well for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. So today's video, we are looking at the 20 nominations for this year's Ballon d'Or. So, how is it picked? Well, it's done by France Football and throughout the season 2021-22, they will look at the top players across world football and then they will come down and select a list of the 20 best players and then obviously that will get whittled down to the winner on October the 17th is when it will be announced. So yesterday, Friday the 12th of August, the nominations were revealed for this year's Ballon d'Or. Now a reminder, yes some of these decisions are quite silly but it goes from the start of last football season so at the start of 2021-22 and finished on the 31st of July 2022 with uh, the European Championship final. Everything thereafter does not count uh, as far as I'm aware unless it's the NWSL season which uh, because of it being a weird time I believe some of that stuff does actually carry on to this season. So the players we have in no particular order at this minute in time, these are just the 20 nominations, no final list, uh, final 10 or top 5 have been announced and this isn't the winner. So this is the list. So we have Asiat Ashwala of Barcelona. We have Marie Antoinette Catoto of Paris Saint-Germain. We have Millie Bright of Chelsea. Trinity Rodman of the Washington Spirit and in doing so Trinity Rodman has now become the youngest player to be nominated for the female Ballon d'Or at just 20 years old. Ada Hegerberg of Lyon, Alexander Pop of Wolfsburg, Aitana Bonmarti of Barcelona, Wendy Renard of Lyon, Alex Morgan of San Diego Wave FC, Beth Mead of Arsenal, Christina Endler of Lyon, Lena Oberdorf of VfL Wolfsburg, Cariedato Diani of PSG, Katerina Macario of Lyon, Alexia Puteas of Barcelona, Salma Baca of Lyon, Fridolina Rolfo of Barcelona, Viviana Mida of Arsenal, Lucy Bronze, now of Arsenal, obviously, um, sorry, Barcelona, formerly of uh, Manchester City, and Sam Kerr of Chelsea. So those are the 20 players that have been selected for this year's Ballon d'Or list. Um, and so it goes based on those pl players, like I said, from uh, July last year, uh, sorry, August last year to July this year, and that are how this season's um, Ballon d'Or list is decided. So if I'm going to hazard a guess at players that could be in the top five, I would say Arsenal's Beth Mead has a, a really good shout, a phenomenal European Championships where she finished top goal scorer and obviously on the winning side of the tournament and a fantastic season on whole for both club and country. You then have to look at Alexia Pateas, obviously she didn't play in the Euros due to suffering an ACL injury, however the season with Barcelona and Spain leading up to her injury again was absolutely phenomenal numbers and has a very strong chance of uh, retaining her title. Uh, I think you would also have to look at Wendy Renard as she managed to help Leon win uh, a Champions League and very commanding at the back for Leon throughout that season and if I was to say another one probably Aitana Bonmarti of Barcelona again a player that has seemed to have gained more recognition outside of Spain and much more appreciation outside of Spain um, with this European Championships being shown on a global scale but uh, what Bonmarti does week in week out for Barcelona definitely doesn't go uh, underappreciated by her teammates and fans of Barcelona and it's very good to see uh, Bonmarti uh, on that list so they would be my rough so-called winners of it um, uh, I would expect them to be within the top five um, some surprises, obviously many people will be surprised to see no Kira Walsh on this list for uh, Manchester City and England. I know a few of her teammates for both club and country have came out uh, in shock that uh, Walsh has been left out of the list and it's definitely surprising to me myself as well because as well as a phenomenal season for Manchester City and uh, absolutely 
cracking uh, tournament for the European Championships for England. She, she's just so crucial into what England did throughout that whole European Championships. So it was very surprising to see her not on the list. And also Carolina Graham Hansen of Barcelona. I mean, yes, Norway didn't have the best European Championships, but her season at Barcelona was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the numbers she put up was just absolutely incredible. And it's so hard to think as to why she's not on the list. I mean, yes, the likes of Trinity Rodman and uh, Alex Morgan have had de decent years, like so the past year in the NWSL, but I think one of them too, maybe, possibly Trinity Rodman in this case, I mean, she's gonna be nominated for many more years to come, but I think it's such uh, a shame that uh, Carolina Graham Hansen has not been nominated at all, as well as uh, Kira Walsh. But we'll find out the winner on Monday, October the 17th, who will be crowned this year's Ballon d'Or winner. Now let me know in the comments down below who you think will win this season's Ballon d'Or. Do you agree with me? It could be Beth Mead of Arsenal and England or Alexia Pateas of Barcelona and Spain. Or do you believe it will be someone else? Let me know in the comments. And like I said at the start, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with post notifications turned on. And make sure you are following us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. And until next time, we'll see you soon.